Greetings and welcome to another episode on attempting CUBS ICT resource paper. And today we are heading to item two. If you missed item one, please check in the video description for the link to item one video. So today we are looking at section B, numbers, and we are starting with item two. So remember, in section B, you are supposed to attempt one item, but we are going to do all numbers in this paper. So item two was saying a fire uh, broke out in a library of a university, destroying several computers and important academic records stored on, stored on the server. Some damaged books and computer parts were left scattered on the floor. So you can see these are some of the spoiled books, damaged books, computers, etc. So you can see them very well. And then the next morning, the librarian collected the damaged items and considered discarding them. You have a task. Advise the librarian and the university management on what might have caused the fire and the measures they should take to prevent such incidences in the future. Then part B, demonstrate how the university can manage and possibly restore the damaged books and computer parts. So like the way we did in the previous video, uh, today we are going to again look at element of construct 2. So element of construct 2 covers item 2 and item 3 which says that appreciates ICT, safety and proper management of e-waste. So those questions will always be around element of construct too. And now, before we start attempting it, we can see how to mark it. The skills that we are looking out for, has the runner identified or mentioned the relevant item, cause or any stakeholder in that uh, task? Has the runner explained how it is applied, used, or how fire was caused? Has the runner managed to give the mitigation measures or how they can be avoided? So you will find out that uh, the runner will score at least one mark for introduction. Then if the runner has identified, mentioned, and explained at least five or more, will score four marks on the causes and then if the runner has explained five or more of what caused the, the fire you will find that the learner is scoring also four marks then the learner giving a focused introduction scores at least one mark conclusion one mark and then the format of the document will make the learner also score one mark so in total this will be 11 marks now let's look at our scoring guide as well so when you look at our scoring guide for item 2 that is ICT usage and health campaign you find that uh, here we are supposed to we are supposed to look at uh, if the runner has, has identified uh, at least four or more, we'll score four max. If the runner identifies three, scores three, identifies two, scores two max, identifies one, scores one mark. If no response, scores zero. Then part B also has suggested four or more, scores four max. If suggests three and explains them, three max, two like that, one like that, zero, no mark. Then, conclusion, one mark, format of the document, one mark. And then also, uh, body, I mean the introduction, one mark. In total, 11 marks. So I want us to look at how best the learner could attempt this question. We have seen the materials were collected. They are here. You can see books are burnt. The computers also were damaged and all that. So advise the librarian and the university management on what might have caused the fire and the measures they should take to prevent such instances in the future. So this is our item two, this scenario. 
let's look at approach and the response. So that, that is fire incidents and management. I begin like that. That is my title. And with my title, I'm going to put an introduction. Fire incidents can have uh, devastating effects, especially in environments such as a university library, where critical document records and variable sources are stored. A recent fire in the university library resulted in the destruction of computers and important records, highlighting the need for effective risk management and recovery strategies. That is my introduction. So when you get my heading and my introduction, there I get at least one mark. Then from there, let's look at the causes of fire and the prevention measures. So one, I'm looking at uh, electrical faults. Electrical faults such as short circuits or fault wiring are common causes of fires in environments with heavy use of electronic equipment. That is a cause. Then I'm providing a solution that to prevent such incidences, the university should conduct regular electrical inspections and maintain equipment properly. So those are uh, that is the cause and the measure. Then overheating, uh, overheating devices. Overheating can occur if computers and other electronic devices are not properly ventilated. That is a cause. Then the solution, the university should ensure adequate ventilation and avoid overloading power outlets. That is also a mark. Then I have the one for proper maintenance. Lack of regular maintenance can lead to the build-up of dust and other flammable materials. Now, what should we do here? As a measure or a mitigation measure, we can say implementing a regular maintenance schedule for all ICT equipment will help to prevent fires. So, at least there we have given our causes and the measures. Then let's look at part B demonstrate how the university can manage and possibly restore the damaged books and computer parts. So here, having uh, raised our points, we have scored at least four out of four. Then let's look at part B. So with part B, we are going to look at management and restoration of damaged items. We can say, for example, assess the damage. So the first step is to assess the extent of the damage to the computers and the academic records. For partially damaged computers, data recovery services can be employed to retrieve important information. That is one measure. Then data recovery. If the servers are affected, data recovery software or professional data recovery services should be used to recover critical academic records. More to that, there is uh, book conservation. Damaged books should be carefully assessed. Uh, if salvageable, conservation techniques such as drying and repairing the pages should be applied. Books beyond repair should be replaced or digitized copies obtained. So you can get digital copies so that you can replace the damaged books. Then disposal uh, of uh, irreparable items. Any items that can't be restored should be disposed of following proper e-waste management protocols to prevent environmental harm. And lastly, we have recycling. So proper recycle electronic waste through certified e-waste recyclers. And so here, the points we have given, there are more than four we get four marks. Then more to that, we have a conclusion. Implementing preventive measures and a robust recovery plan will protect the university's assets and ensure shift restoration after any future incidences, maintaining academic continuity. So that is my conclusion. It also gives me one mark. So when you look at the format of the document generally, where I had the introduction, I had body and the conclusion. So the format of the document also will give me at least one mark. And so you find that this item 
2 also carries 11 marks. So, so far we have covered two items, item 1 and item 2. If you missed item 1, please check in the video description. You get item 1, how we responded to it. So remember that uh, item 2 and item 3 are taken from topic 14 and topic 8, which is the element of construct that the learner appreciates, ICT safety and manages e-waste. So at this point, we are done with our item 2. Let's continue to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ensure that we are sharing the links to our fellow teachers, share it to the learners to ensure that there is success in this ICT 840 stroke 1. Thank you for always following up. Please remember to grab a copy of these books to upgrade your skills and up up the game in website designing one for using WordPress, another one for using Expression Web. And I'm available to ensure that I facilitate your learners and they do better in these uh, respective papers. Thank you for listening. Jabris.